Hi guys, welcome back to Future Dimensions 360. As you know, in our last tutorial, we had finished the deep understanding of fuse reducer hook with practical couple of examples. Now we have good knowledge for use reducer hook. So there is a time to understand when to use use state hook, when to use use reducer hook. Keep in mind, both these hooks are for state management. Let's discuss a couple of scenarios in which we need sometimes use state hook and in which scenario we need use reducer hook. First of all, let's talk about the type of the state. In case you are using primitive types like number, string or boolean as state variables, it's better to use use state hook. In case you are using arrays or objects, it's better to go on with use reducer hook. For example, if you are maintaining a value for the counter in the state only, as it's a numeric value, it's better to use use state in case you are maintaining the data against the user, for example, the first name, last name, email, and phone number of a user in a state. It's a kind of object. So in that kind of scenarios, it's better to go on with use reducer hook. Secondly, number of state transitions. For example, if you have like one or two transitions in your state, it's better to go on with use state hook. In case of many transitions, it's better to go on with use reducer hook. For example, the, the third scenario is related state transition number of transitions and related state transitions. Number of transitions mean, for example, in, if I talk about my last tutorial, we have a transition in which we are having a successful returns of an axios call or an error state of an axios call. In each kind of transition, we are calling three different type of state variable changes. One of them is loading, setting loading to either false or true. Secondly, setting the post in object in state or removing the post object from the state. And the third one is setting up an error to an error state or empty state. So these are a kind of transitions we are doing. If you have to do two or one transition, it's go, It's better to go on with your stage hook. But in case of many transitions, it's better to go on with use reducer hook as your code will be more clean. It will be more readable and you will not forget any transition at the, as the related transition will be in same place in use reducer hook inside a use inside a reducer function. So that's why it's better to go on with use reducer hook in case of related transition or many transitions. Thirdly, if there is any business logic involved in your state, for example, you have some sort of value and you are going to update the state value but on the base of some business logic. So in that kind of case, it's better to go on with use reducer hook as well. Lastly, local states versus global state. If you need state inside a component only, single component, it's better to go on with use state hook. In case you want to share the state, in within multiple components or you want to make your state available globally, it's better to go on with use reducer hook. I hope you guys understand the, the differences in detail. 
why when to use use stage hook when to use use reducer hook that's it for today's tutorial in case of any further question you can comment us on the same video or you can reach us out in our mailbox as well please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you goodbye